What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Um, I got some thoughts on the Dalton Schultz situation here, and he might be making a mistake, and I'm going to tell you why. Uh, before I do, it's, it's funny because I was just talking with uh, Brian Green. I've been talking to Brian Green and uh, Randy Sykes. States, 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 and stuff as we get coordinated for our trip um, to Dallas. Uh, Brian's going to actually be here Friday, and that's good because I got a lot of stuff to do to get ready for the trip and things. And he was saying that um, one of the things that he must do here is for his wife is to come out here to fish pond because he's like, man, he said that's an oasis out there, man. He's like, I, I can't wait to see that. So. It'll be nice to have them out here, maybe have a couple of drinks and stuff, feed the fishies, and just kind of relax, because this is my oasis right here. Um, but I was sitting here thinking, and shout out to my man, Greg Evans, because he sometimes puts thoughts in my head, too, that, that make me go, hmm. So here's the thing. The Dallas Cowboys like to think of themselves as a family as long as everything is going towards the family. Dalton Schultz is kind of making some waves and so on. You know, Dalton Schultz is still, you know, relatively young and played well last year. But Greg brought up an interesting point here. And you could go back and think about Jason Witten. Jason Witten had a lot of catches his last season with the Cowboys. And there was a reason behind it. If you have to give up a catch to somebody, if you have to single cover somebody, or if you would rather have somebody catch the ball than others, when Jason Witten was here, you had Amari Cooper. Well, Amari Cooper is a great route runner, and he's quick. Would you rather have... Amari Cooper catch the ball or Jason Witten? You'd look and say, Jason Witten. Would you rather Tony Pollard catch the football? And was Tony Pollard here? Tony Pollard may not have been here, but you, you feel what I'm saying. Michael Gallup. Would you rather have Michael Gallup catch the football or Jason Witten? You'd say Jason Witten. Because... Jason Witten, yeah, he's short-handed. He, he's always open because they always would leave him open because they knew he'd catch the ball, but he can't break it. Could that have been the same effect for the Cowboys that they looked and they said, would you rather have Amari Cooper catch the ball or Dalton Schultz? Amari Cooper could take it to the house. Would you rather have Amari, I mean, uh, CeeDee Lamb catch the football or Dalton Schultz? If you're a defense coordinator, you say Dalton Schultz. He's not as fast as CD. CD going in the slot could take it to the house. Would you rather have Cedric Wilson or Michael Gallup catch the ball or Dalton Schultz? And his coordinator would say Dalton Schultz. Would you rather Tony Pollard catch the football or Dalton Schultz? You'd still probably say Dalton Schultz. Yeah, he can catch the football. You know, but he ain't breaking a whole lot of tackles and taking it to the house very often. So it's kind of pick your poison. So were his catches because the defense dictated, we're not going to let these guys outside beat us because we can't cover all of the weapons. He is the lesser of the evil. I don't know. That may be the case. But did the Cowboys draft his replacement? In Jake Ferguson. Um, Jake Ferguson is a better blocker than Dalton Schultz. Jake Ferguson is a lot cheaper than what Dalton Schultz will be. And see, this is where you have to understand the mentality of football. You may argue that Lyle Collins and Terrence Steele are the same as far as ability. You may even argue, I won't that Lyle Collins is better than Terrence Steele. 
But the question is, is he $9 million better than Terrence Steele? Ah, now I got your attention. Because when you looked at Lyle Collins, who's getting paid, you know, $10, $12 million versus Terrence Steele, who's getting paid $800,000, then you start saying, hmm, that's money that we can use elsewhere, or that, that that's guys that we can pay that we know we have to keep in Micah Parsons or, or Diggs. You follow what I'm saying? And see, I can understand Dalton Schultz being upset when he thinks that, you know, first I'm signing a franchise tag, which is great money, but now all of a sudden you have, you know, David Naku, who had almost half of the receptions that he had with $14.5 million on a long-term deal. You hear about the Raiders working on a deal for their tight end that you know will blow away David Nakus. And you're sitting here looking at this and saying, I only have the franchise tag that's a one-year deal, and if I don't perform, I may not get that big money. I'm going to go ahead and make some noise right now to try and get paid as well. So, some food for thought here on the situation. I don't have the answer, you know, because more times than not, we've made big contracts and then turn around and have buyer's remorse. And you can look in free agency that a lot of teams have spent big money on players in free agency and have buyer's remorse. Well, hell, you can look at teams that have spent big money on their own free agents and giving extensions that have buyer's remorse. And it's one of those things that you just don't know what you don't know of was a player good because of the system and the people around him and can be replaced or is the player irreplaceable and that's why you got the numbers that you got. Hmm. Good question. Now, for those out there that look and just say that Jack Prescott is just garbage, that the Cowboys, it's all of the great people around him, I might make the argument that people seem to elevate when they're working with Jack. We'll be able to figure this out. We'll get another real-time uh, gauge because if Deshaun Watson is suspended for the whole season. We'll see what the numbers are for Amari Cooper with Deshaun Watson because we ended up seeing um, damn having a brain fart here. It's been, it's been a rough day with the Stewart passing and stuff and trying to get all this stuff together. I'm trying to get so many things done. Um, but the wide receiver from Green Bay that we signed who Green Bay had given up on God he comes to Dallas and gets four yards more per completion, signs a big deal with Houston, works with Deshaun Watson, and his numbers go back to where they were with Green Bay. We'll be able to look at that. God, I'm, I can't believe I'm having this brain fart. All of you right now are watching the video and saying, you jackass, you idiot. It is, it's at the tip of my tongue. We'll be able to see if Amari Cooper was a product of being there with Dak Prescott, or if he's just a great receiver. Remember, the Raiders gave up on him because his numbers were ass the last year. So we'll see. We'll see. And it might be that Dalton Schultz is better because Dak is throwing the ball to him. And the defense is will say, let's, let's try and get the guy. Let, let that guy be the guy they go after. Who knows? But uh, about an hour and 20 minutes, we got our live stream. I hope you tune in. We'll be giving away another piece of the artwork and stuff. I've been busy today in the workshop making a whole lot of, I got a lot of those. And we're going to be taking, um, taking them to Texas to us. And we're going to be giving away a bunch of those as well. I'm Mark Holmes, and well, I appreciate you guys. I really, truly do. And I'll see you soon.